Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. Happy Saturday to you from me and my freshly almost shaved face, kind of half shaven face. My hair is still long, but my facial hair not so long. It's my second channel, daily blog channel. No trespassing Florida Department of Transportation says no trespassing. But I'm not really sure what that means. Does that mean we, does that mean we can't go over there in the little region here? Or does it mean we can't go over here? Or does it mean they just don't want you climbing on the sign? I'm not really sure. It's the Daily Woo. I'm wearing my Dr. Paul Bearer 2 t-shirt today. Pretty awesome, Dr. Paul Bearer 2. I'll do another vlog blog later about how I met up with Dr. Paul Bearer 2 the other day. Hopefully later on, hopefully I get to do some videos with him and he can do some videos with me. But I digress about Dr. Paul Bearer now. And I wanna to talk to you about a subject called Punk Rock slash Warp Tour. Warp Tour is not really about punk rock anymore. Have you guys ever been to the band's sponsored Warp Tour? Well, the Orlando Warp Tour, 1995, was the very first Warp Tour. It was not what had it has become today. It's turned into a corporate empire monster. But back then, it wasn't quite as massive as what you know now. Still quite a few thousand people, but nothing in the, in the immensity and largeness of what you know and probably love about the Warp Tour, in Orlando, it began right here. See this behind me? This was the spot. This dilapidated old barn used to be called the Edge Shed. The Edge was located right there. See that building there? It's now a church. It became a country club after the Edge. Before that, it was called the Edge which was like a dance club. And inside there was one of the stages of Warp Tour. And the second stage, there was only two stages. Now there's like 14 or 15 or 97 stages at Warp Tour. There was only two back then. One of the stages was here in what they called the edge, quote unquote, shed. And the other one was in the main edge. So that place would hold about a thousand people. This place could probably hold, I don't know, probably seven or 800 people. You can see back over in the barbed wire, the restrooms were right in there. And then on the back side of this was a parking lot. They would remove the cars from the parking lot and they would have big concerts. Not having to do with Warp Tour, but other bands would play in the parking lot. Green Day played in the parking lot before they became the massive band that they are today. Soundgarden played in the parking lot. I saw Pantera in the parking lot. I saw so many bands. Blind Melon before Shannon Hoon died. I saw him and his band Blind Melon, the original Blind Melon lineup, right in this area here. Now the place is completely abandoned. So we're gonna see if we can get a little up close personal view. Definitely tell they have some homeless people out here drinking, partying, and probably living, residing. It was cool though, because in the early 90s, 95 was when the first Warped Tour was. After the early 90s, I became started playing in a band in 2001, 2002. And in 2002, the place went through a renovation and I actually was able to play inside the old edge. See if we can get up close and personal. Look at this right here. You can see some grandstands grown up. The grandstands are now grown up over here. Not really very grand. They were small in proportion. That's where some of the bleachers where people would sit. Okay, right? I thought something got a little crazy. I thought there was some wasp or something. But right here is where the stage was. And the crowd would have been, the crowd would have been over that way. So the stage was right here, leveled up. And right in here was where the crowd was. 
Wait, there's a cat. There's a cat back there. So many memories back in there. So there you have it. The Old Edge Shed. Home to Warp Tour number one in Orlando, Central Florida. Happened right in there. So just picture a ton of people before all this was grown over. The stage was right behind there. The crowd stood under here. I remember there'd be rainstorms. The rain would be pounding down, and you could hear it on that tin roof. It was quite the experience. There's a lot of memories. A lot of memories for me right out here. Now it's nothing more than a dilapidated state. That's pretty awesome. Reliving memories here on this Saturday. Thanks for watching, everybody. What do you think about this non-massive beard-faced Adam? the woo. Leave some comments down below about your Warp Tour experiences, your first concert, concert. I got choked up. <clears throat> I got choked up by the memories. Leave some comments about your first concert experiences. Mine happened right on that field. My very first concert was in that field right over there. Pretty awesome stuff. Also check down below for my t-shirts at thewoo.spreadshirt.com. Also, if you want to see me tomorrow or the next day or for the future, subscribe up here and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Goodbye.